Hello YouTube friends, Dustin Bellinger here and doing a video uh, regarding an item that I happened to come across here just recently. This has been in my collection for a long time, uh, but I uh, had kind of lost track of it until just uh, just recently and you know it's kind of a nostalgic moment for me and I thought I'd kind of like to share the story of it with you so uh, player in the discussion here is Mike Kroll uh, he played uh, for Nebraska in the uh, late 80s to 1990 um, and he was a uh, first round draft pick of the Broncos uh, and in 1991, he was the Defensive Rookie of the Year. I uh, recorded 10 sacks that season. And that really kind of was the high point of his career. But, you know, right then, I uh, was, you know, kind of a, a big deal. And uh, I'm not sure how I learned about it, uh, that there was going to be an autograph signing in Grand Island, which was about an hour and a half from where I lived and he was going to be appearing and signing autographs uh, there and uh, it was a couple the weekend before my birthday uh, so this would have been in May of 1992 the spring following his rookie season and you see the date there May 3rd so that's three days before my 14th birthday and I asked my parents, you know, to take me to uh, this so that I could get an autograph of Mike Kroll. A, you know, as a Husker star who was doing big things in the NFL. It was kind of a big deal. And I'd never really been to an autograph signing before. Uh, so, this, you know, something... Something new, you can see the price there, $5.30, which included the sales tax. So basically, I'm sure the, the it costs, you know, 5 bucks for an autograph, which, you know, you kind of think about it right now, you know, uh, the reigning defensive rookie of the year signing an autograph in, you know, a local market. Yeah, I would imagine it would... It'd be, you know, $50 an autograph uh, now for something like that. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was pretty inexpensive. And, you know, it was a local card store, a hobby store there in Grand Island that was the sponsor there. And it was <laughs> at a, uh, a freaking motel. And I believe there was kind of some card show going on you know that there was dealers set up selling cards at the autograph if i graph show if i if i remember correctly but uh anyway so as a kid i my parents paid for me to get uh an autograph from mike kroll and i had remembered uh having a hat I had a black shirts uh, hat, you know, which black shirts is the nickname for the Nebraska defense. And it was actually been signed by a number of other players on the team at a, an event where they had come to my high school and played a charity basketball game. Uh, it was mostly, you know, players that had already graduated. And, you know, didn't really uh, in, involve, you know, anybody that was really high profile. But, you know, a lot of them were, you know, seniors and, and starters, players that had finished their eligibility. And they were, you know, helping raise money for the school system. I don't even remember what it exactly was for. But I remember they played, you know, a charity basketball game against local celebrities in the town. And afterwards, you know, they all set up at a table and you could go through and have uh, have them sign autographs for you. And I had 
them all sign the bill, the underside of a bill of a, a baseball, a Nebraska black shirts baseball cap that I had. And so it had probably a dozen autographs on it. And I took that to have it signed by Kroll as well. And so I re I'd remembered him signing that. And unfortunately, the hat, I wish I could show it to you. It's packed away with some other stuff unfortunately and I couldn't I couldn't locate it but uh I'd always remembered that I'd gotten that signed but I had forgotten I remembered that I'd kept this ticket but I had kind of forgotten that the reason I kept it was because I'd also gotten it signed for me on the back so I'd gotten two autographs from him that day it was kind of a fun experience because the fact that I was having him sign a hat that had a number of his teammates signed, he was interested in it and he wanted to look at it and see the signatures. So it allowed me like, you know, as a, you know, almost a 14 year old kid, just like an extra 30, 40 seconds to kind of stand there next to this, you know, freak <laughs> specimen of a human being that an NFL player is. Uh, to me, it was just such a fun experience. But uh, anyway, I had kind of forgotten about having this this signature on this uh, on this ticket from so long ago. And you know, when I went away to college in 1996, you know, a lot of my stuff stayed there. And you know, as my parents moved. Uh, over the years, you know, some of my stuff that got packed up and they just kind of kept a hold of it for me because, you know, I was a young kid just starting out, didn't have, you know, place for my stuff, but I didn't want to, you know, lose every, you know, get rid of everything. So some of my stuff kind of stayed there and it's been kind of just been being stored by my parents for, you know, 20 more or or more years, and then recently, you know, my, my dad passed away, it's it's coming up on two years now, it'll be two years in a couple of months here, and my mom has gotten in a position where, you know, it's time for her to sell the, the house that they, they were living in, and she's going to be moving, and, you know, it's a smaller place. She doesn't have room to just store all my old stuff indefinitely anymore. And so it was time, all the things she'd been holding from her three kids to kind of distribute it amongst them. And so I got, you know, a really large box of my old stuff that came home with me. And going through it, I found this ticket and it was like oh i remember going to that show and then it was when i turned it over and saw the autograph to remember oh yeah i got this as well <laughs> and so here it's been kind of all those years ago that i you know still had it and it's uh you know just kind of a nostalgic memory and make something that kind of makes me happy remembering you know parents being nice enough to indulge me to you know it was you know a, they basically had to give up you know a, a day of their weekend uh you know uh, for the whole family to travel you know to grand island and for me to be able to attend this show and get these autographs so it's just a nice memory and something cool you know it's like hey Mike Kroll didn't end up being the big superstar in the NFL that I might have thought he was gonna be at the time I got this but you know what it's it's something that I don't think I would be willing to give up for you know any normal sum of, <laughs> of money or to trade for you know somebody else so Anyway, thanks for indulging me in this little nostalgic trip down memory lane and listening to me ramble. I appreciate all of you, and I will talk to you again next time. Bye now.